Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. <clears throat> the website's composed of eight sequential online free lessons that, in my opinion, as a veteran therapist, every adult could profit from, including you. The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of lesson two out of the eight. Lesson two focuses on a skill that, in my experience over many, many years working with well over a thousand people, um, people are untrained in how to communicate effectively. I suspect that if you were asked, uh, you'd say, well, I can communicate pretty well in most situations. You probably can. And I propose in lesson two, there is much more you could know about this powerful, essential skill we all use to get our needs met called communication. So lesson two provides a number of things that your parents didn't teach you, I'll bet, and neither did the schools that you attended. One implication, by the way, is if you're a parent, you're probably not teaching your children how to communicate effectively. So what does lesson two uh, include? It starts with a definition of, well, what is communication? I propose that any action by person A that affects person B emotionally, psychologically, physically, or spiritually is communication, not just talking and listening. If that's communication, there's some real fundamental principles that you ought to be aware of. Uh, for example, why do we communicate? Pretty basic, right? In my experience, most people have only vague or distorted answers. After 40 years pondering this question, I came up with five specific reasons that we communicate. There are five needs. A need and discomfort all human behavior is driven by reducing discomforts and gaining pleasure, as Dr. Freud told us. So there are five reasons you communicate. You probably can't name them. Find out what they are in lesson two. The second basic in this lesson is what do we communicate? That's not as simple as you might think. In my experience, we communicate four messages at once. You're decoding four messages from me, if we're face to face. I'm decoding four messages from you, simultaneously, unconsciously. These messages are, what do you need? What are you thinking? What are you doing? And how do you feel about me right now? Those are four different messages we unconsciously decode all the time. So there are eight messages going back and forth if we're face to face. Fewer if we're on the phone. That's what we communicate. How do we communicate? You probably know this. There are three different ways. We communicate through words. We communicate through how the words or sounds are made nonverbal communication, and we communicate visually, face, body, hand, motion, language, eye contact, things like that. So there are three different ways we send four messages to each other to try and get five needs met. Lesson two explains more about these communication essentials. The more you know about these, the more effective your communication is apt to be. Lesson two also outlines seven learnable skills that you never learned, neither did your parents, neither did your teachers. I bet you can't name them. Um, I'm not going to summarize them right here. That's the purpose of another video. There are seven skills you can learn and teach your kids, which will help you get more of your needs met more often with more people in more situations. Seven skills. Another thing in lesson two that you'll learn is a specific identification of over 
20 common communication errors or blocks. Most people use a f favorite set of these blocks and are completely unaware that they're doing it. They also are unaware if their partner is using some of these blocks, what to do about it. The bad news is people are unaware of these blocks, which really lowers the effectiveness of their communication. The good news is, with the first of seven skills, awareness, you can learn to spot these blocks in yourself and in your partner, and then you can use the seven skills to reduce the blocks and improve your communication. So the last thing you'll find in lesson two is some applications. Uh, a group of specific proposals on how to handle difficult communication situations like uh, trying to interact with an angry person, an aggressive person, a silent person, a timid person, an egocentric person. There are over 25 examples of how can you use all this information in a way specifically to help you get your needs met more. So in brief, those are the central topics of Lesson 2. I hope you will consider investing time in studying and learning these basics and then applying them in your life to improve your thinking, your communication, and the satisfaction in your daily life. You'll get the most out of Lesson 2 if you first study Lesson 1. Lesson 1, which is the subject of another video, focuses on who is running your life. I hope that question intrigues you. The answer is not what you think it is. So, please consider spending time, investing time, in the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. It's educational, it's free, there are absolutely no ads. Eight self study lessons. The first is answering the question, who's really running your life? And the second lesson, which we've just overviewed, is how to think and communicate more effectively. Thanks for watching.